Anthropic announced Claude 4.5, really targeted at developers, which is big news for us. It's it's pumped up the uh, the coding benchmarks again. The SWE benchmark, what is it? SWE Bench Verified, which is like real trying to do real world software engineering tasks. Um, it, it's maxed out that benchmark again. It's it's passed its own uh, previous one, and this is called Sonnet 4.5, not Opus. Right? Opus is the bigger one, no, think, but it's yeah. better than it's better than Claude Opus 4.1. Um, so these are these are both thinking models, but uh, yeah, look, it's it's. As you know, this is nerve wracking for us because we are coders. It's what we do. We build software and uh, these systems with things like, you know, um, cursor and replit, et cetera, lovable. They're all getting better and better at this, right? There's still definitely a space for us. Vibe coding can't replace what we do yet, but for how long? Well, I, um, uh, I pointed someone who told me they were great at vibe coding to all of the SSW rules about being a good product owner. Because a lot of those skills still remain where the person has to specify what it is ex exactly they're building. And now that Claude has come along, I've seen that it can code autonomously for nearly 30 hours. I saw something um, in, in the internet say, I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but that means that the longer a model can then do work unsupervised, the more value it's going to create. But it still means that the enterprise apps that we need to build still probably need a human summer in the loop to verify it's done. But yeah, the trend is going this way, isn't it? Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.